I'm going to show you how to make these cute little number tags that you can use in your journals or on your dangles or wherever you like. So to begin, what you're going to need is uh, the tag. Now I'm using the digitals from the shop, um, but you might have stamps and punches and stuff and you can make your own circles and tag shapes. So whatever it is you're making them from, grab those and you'll need a bit of card. Now I've just cut this off. Um, a cat food box and I'm going to use uh, two different digitals from the shop this the circle number tags set and I'm also going to use these uh, tag shape number tags so what I'm going to do first let's pop those out of the way is on the uh, the printed side of the card I'm just going to glue a few different tags I'm going to use. I have printed these on just the 80 GSM copy paper. You could if you wanted to print them on thicker card but if you do it this way you can keep gluing it to card until you're at the, the thickness you want. So I might just use this to glue on. Bit of glue and then onto the scrap cardboard. Hello. I'm going to do the d same for the circles and a few of the other sizes and I'll just put this bit on fast forward so you don't get bored while I'm cutting and gluing. Right, now that I've stuck those all on the card, I'm just going to trim them out. I usually wait for them to dry, but I'm a bit impatient today, so I'm just going to cut them out now. Hello, buggy. No, you're in the way. Hop down. Hop down. Cuddles later. Okay. got my son home today he sprained his ankle at school yesterday and as you can tell by the laughter he's suffering immeasurably once again I'll probably pop this part on fast forward because it's just a whole lot of cutting out of elements Now I have all those cut out, I'm going to find the back sheet in the digital sets. Um, if you're doing this with your own stuff, you could leave it plain on the back of the card or you could paint it, ink it or stick some other design on the back. Imagination's the limit. And circles circles, squares, and I just need the smaller rectangly ones. Where are you? Aha, the cat was on it. All right, so now I'm just going to cut out some backs for these. Now I could cut out my, another number, put it on the back as well, but I think for these I'm just going to do them plain. Okay, so I'm going to start with these bigger ones. I have two of those. And I think I'll just take these two here. Trimming them out. And 
I'm just going to glue them on the back. So, a bit of glue on here. Glue on the back. Maneuver it into the place. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect, we'll be inking the edges and we can always trim a bit more off if we need to. And press. And same again. It's stuck, but it hasn't got in place properly, so I'm going to trim that one down. So, scissors and trimming. Once they're glued together, I'm going to put a little bit of black ink on the edges. I'll go ahead and put it on fast forward and put the backs on all the rest of them and I'll meet you back here in a minute. Before I ink or trim, well, before I do anything with the little circles, I'm going to trim any excess I see off. And if I've really uh, made a mess of the shape, I can use uh, a little nail file like this to just graze off some of the unwanted shape. But unless I've done it really badly, I'm probably just going to live with it. Now I've got all of the uh, tag shapes made up. I'm going to take a sip of coffee. Now, a little earlier in the day, I took some of this gold and silver paint that I have and just painted it on some card. Like this. And this is what I want to make the tiny little reinforcement rings out of, the foam metallic little reinforcement rings. So, what I've done for that is I've got two different sizes of hole punch. I think this one is a 3mm and this one is a 6mm. And what I'm going to do is uh, run a row of the 3mm the hole punch across my card. And then 
this is the trickier bit. I'm going to try and get that as central as possible over the top of the three millimeter hole. Like this. And then just tip them out of the hole punch. And as you can see, some of them are in the middle, some of them are a bit off, but I like using them all anyway. So I'm going to do some of the silver one as well. So we have some variety. Oops, little hole punch first. Okay, so I've got this, um, I think it's a flower sculpting tool. Uh, so it's got one larger ball on one end and a smaller one on the other. And I'm just going to use it to press onto the rings. And it's going to just kind of curve the inside uh, in slightly. Oops. I don't know if that's going to show up. I'll pop a couple on my finger and move it up to the camera. stand up and see if I can say uh, camera where are you focus all right so the one I pressed is on the right and the one I didn't press is on the left and you can just see tiny little curved in from the press and I, I like that look so I'm going to do that on all of them make sure these are all up the right way I've done it on some grey cards, so it's hard to tell which way the silver ones are up. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to press all of them with the round tool. Oops, <laughs> wants to skid it off the desk. Alright, good enough. And then I'm going to get my little hole punch. I'm going to punch little holes in all of the tags where I want the holes to be. Puggy. Not right now, sweetie. We're still recording. A few more minutes and then cuddle time. I'm afraid to pull you off. You're going to knock all the tiny little things off the table. Come come forward. Come forward. Yes. All right. Quick cuddle. Yes. Yes, I know. All right. Down you go. Alright, so now I'm going to put a little bit of glue around where the hole is. Doesn't need much. And Pug is going to jump back up. And then I'm going to probably try and get it to stick to the tool or my finger. Maneuver it into place with the smaller end. And press. And remove Pug. <sighs> All right, and I'm just going to do that for all of the tags. A little bit of glue. Put the ring on. Maneuver it into position. And press.
little number tags ready to go as soon as we have something to dangle them from. Hope you have fun making your own tags and I'll see you again next time. Bye!